Back in March, as the virus spread, borders quickly closed. Not just internally in the EU, but to all foreigners too. Now, as restrictions are eased, the European Union wants to open up again. It's not yet possible to have a general lifting of the travel restrictions at all external borders to the European Union. But it's coming to a situation where we have to start gradually to do that. The Commission is asking only to lift restrictions to countries with a similar or better epidemiological status. The decisions should be coordinated and flexible. And it wants to see borders lifted to the Balkans and for those travelling to study and for highly skilled non-EU workers. We are taking these measures so that health is protected at the same time as Europeans can see loved ones across borders and people can go back to work across borders in more and more countries. This has to be done in a coordinated manner and this is also what Member States strongly are asking for. And I should guess it's going to be quite uh, difficult uh, road ahead to get this coordinated approach. But these are simply recommendations. Ultimately, decisions will be made by national governments who, to date, have taken decisions in this crisis in their national interests. The external border uh, restrictions obviously can be lifted up only when the internal restrictions will also be lifted. So, in a way, the two are interrelated. And at the end of the day, the EU has to make sure that the member states will act uh, at the same time. And this is where the Commission is really struggling since the moment in which it put forward this roadmap with a set of criteria that the member states have been systematically departing from. Europe needs its borders to reopen to help get the economy back on track. But questions remain on who will listen and when, whether Brussels' mere recommendations will matter at all. Darren McCaffrey, Euronews in Brussels.